Today we are showing you Cookville, Tennessee, a neat little historic town. Little, and it depends on what's little, but between Nashville and Knoxville, we are going to give you an idea of what it's like here, what houses are like. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to show you where the wealthy people in Cookville spend their weekends. All right, so I'm out here in front of, uh, I'm in the downtown square of Cookville, Tennessee. Super neat little historic property here. I just love all this ivy. This thing is just like, I'm just attracted to this property. Uh, I think it's a, actually a private, private property. The other cool thing about this spot, look at this. This is a church that has a skywalk across the street. First United Methodist Church, never seen that before. I think they had to expand, and so they just jumped over the road and created a little skywalk, super creative. Okay, fun fact. Uh, Tucker, uh, on a, my partner on the team, he actually got married in this church. If you've seen our other video uh, about Cookville, you realize he's got a lot of personal connections to Cookville. Didn't realize he actually got married to his bride in this church right here off the square in Cookville. So here in the square of Cookville, you're gonna find what you would typically expect in a square. Little shops, little restaurants. Uh, we're gonna start our day here at Poets on the Square, the best, the most famous coffee shop in the area. It's been around for like 25 years. They got acai bowls. They have uh, avocado toast. So this is where our power up begins. Let's go. So when you come visit downtown Cookville, you gotta go to West Downtown and check out the Visit Cookville store. This place has all the connections. They tell you all the activities you can do around town. They give you maps. They've got awesome selection of boutique items um, that are all made from local artisans, local vendors and it's right across from the railroad tracks right there. Definitely highly recommend it. You can get a ton of information very quickly. All the stuff to do is right there. Okay, I'm out in front of the Fire and Vine. This is the cool, <laughs> this is like where, I feel like we're in Nashville uh, right here. Got the rooftop deck. This place is di dialed in. You can just tell it's gonna be an awesome spot to visit. And then also right next to it, I've got the red, Silo Brewing Company. This is where you can come hang out at night, do the brewery thing. That's your bag. So we were still in West downtown uh, Cookville. Neat little spots here and there. It's kind of mixed together, but you can tell people are having a good time. Dude, check this out. This is a really cool patio area. Of course, this is the middle of the day. Not everybody's uh, having a wet lunch here, but uh, at nighttime, this place transforms and this becomes the spot look at this this red silo is like landmark for downtown west downtown cookville this is the spot red silo so another fun fact is there's a weinstein tour it's a train tour that'll take you between here and nashville to check out distilleries and places to have some drinks really neat place to check out the weinstein tour I'm out here at Tennessee Tech's campus, uh, really close to downtown Cookville. So Tennessee Tech is a uh, Division I school. There's around 8,000 students, plus or minus. Tuition is around 10,000 for in-state, 14,000 for out-of-state. Uh, pretty campus. This place is known for engineering, computer science, nursing. Quiet day, I think uh, yeah, there's some people, I think people may be in class right now but you've got campus housing right here on, you know, on site. You got other off-campus housing really close by and pretty campus. Uh, this building right here is actually brand new. This was the, um, the CEO of Boeing, largest ma manufacturer of aircraft uh, in the world. This building right here is named after him. And uh, just a neat campus. 
right here in in the middle of Cookville. All right, I want to give you an example of what do you get in Cookville? How far does a dollar go? So we've got a new community right here, brand new construction, 1,500 square feet. This one right here for sale, $380,000. That's so like 250 a square foot. You're gonna get a two car garage. You're gonna have hardy board siding. And what a pretty community, look at this. What a neat spot. We're like a, probably a minute from the interstate. We're probably six or seven minutes from downtown Cookville. And so, you know, pretty good. Brand new house, 400 grand, easy interstate access. Nice looking neighbors. You got a few that are still being built uh, right here. Actually, I kind of love seeing houses that are in construction. You can see, see they've, uh, they've got it all filled with gravel and they're probably about to pour a slab in there. So um, this is a great example of kind of that lower, you know, Cookville's really, you're really gonna see 300 to probably 900. That's the majority of your houses. Lots of options at 400, 500, 600, that category. So this is a good example of just kind of a lower end for Cookville, but brand new house. Man, look at the landscaping on this one over here. Love it, love the attention to detail. Super nice little spot here. All right, here out at another property in Cookville. Again, we're about a minute away from the interstate. We're six minutes from Poets on the Square. The coffee shop you wanna to go to, one of the coffee shops that's great here. Uh, and so we're in a neighborhood that has older uh, established homes and some new homes mixed through here. So you can see these are like, these feel brand new. This one's actually built 2022. Uh, and this is an example of what you get for Six hundred thousand dollars, twenty-four hundred square feet. You're gonna be like that two fifty a square foot uh, price category. About uh, just under a third of an acre, and you're gonna have a flat back yard, covered back porch. Uh, man, that is a pretty house. Really nicely done house. Super tasteful. You got the stained ceiling uh, on the front porch there. The covered back porch is gonna have a stained wood ceiling as well. And you're gonna be across from a big field right now. Uh, it's actually a kind of a cool, this barn has gotta be super old. Anytime you see roofs that are rusting, you know it's been there for a, a hot minute. Uh, but this street, quiet, trees, tasteful designs on these houses. And so, again, 600 grand, super nice, luxurious finishes inside vaulted ceilings, that kind of thing, all um, part of the deal here for this price. And in a really great location, easy interstate access. Uh, my guy's out here doing some concrete. All right, on to the next. There's lots of neat places on the west side of downtown Cookville, and it's time for us to get some lunch. We're gonna hit up Craw Daddy's super popular spot. Let's go see. Okay, Craw Daddies did not disappoint. I got the lobster roll. And you'll see when we go to lunch at places, a lot of times they're empty or not a lot of people. Well, that's because we hit the early lunch. We try to beat the crowd. And so uh, by the time we're done, you know, this place is filling up. So don't let the empty seats fool you. Uh, this place is hopping later in the lunch hour and definitely at night, the bar scene. Uh, this is a kind of a cool hot spot here in the historic area west downtown i think we gotta hit another coffee shop soul craft is a great spot you gotta hear about it All 
right, now that I got my golden bear latte, it's got the cinnamon and the honey, highly recommend. Uh, that place is freaking awesome, I love it. Also love the, uh, you know, really old hardwood floors. It just has character. These historic downtowns just have so much character. Uh, you gotta love history. History slash old stuff. So anyway, now we're powered up, part two. Let's keep rolling. The next stop we got for $8.99, 4,000 square feet, built in 1979. It's a ranch style home, a one acre lot. So big property, nicely redone. And you know, this is 225 a square foot. So price comes down a little bit. This is the really the higher end for what you're gonna spend in a Cookville. Your dollar goes pretty far in Cookville relative to you know bigger cities like a Nashville or Knoxville even. Uh, nice looking neighbors out here. These are really, this is a really uh, nice part of Cookville, big lots. And again, we are four minutes from Poets on the Square. The nice part about a small town is that you can quickly get to downtown. You can park, find a parking spot. You don't have to pay to park necessarily. It's just everything's a little easier to navigate in a small town. Interstate's not far. And uh, home values are going to be, it's going to cost you less to get more house. So those are some of the reasons that I think people are choosing these small town arrangements. Style. Another pretty cool historic barn over here. I just love these things. I think this used to be a farm. So, uh, I don't know, something about it. It's pretty cool. So again, a good example of the higher end that you're gonna spend in Cookville. You know, you don't see a whole lot over a million dollars. They do exist, but majority are gonna be that 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 kind of category of product for living in Cookville. To wrap up our tour of Cookville, we had to drop in on one of the biggest assets of the community, and that is Center Hill Lake. So it's about 20 minutes from Cookville. If you live in Cookville, chances are you're gonna spend some time on the water out here, the Hurricane Marina. This is the biggest marina, closest to Nashville, most popular. This place has like houseboats for days. These things are freaking huge. And uh, this is a very, very pretty lake. Deep water, 190 feet deep at the deepest. You've got about 400 uh, miles of shoreline on this lake. Big water, big lake. Um, this place is pretty sick. So you have a lot of Nashville people that will come to this lake. But if you're, you know, you're really close to Cookville. Look at this. Gotta love the water, right? So fishing, water sports, you got the picturesque, uh, kind of the mountain ranges. And you just have a huge scene out here on the weekends especially. It's a little quieter today. But uh, just want to say uh, thanks for coming along with us on our tour of Cookville. And again, we're a real estate team, so we can help you buy or sell. We get questions every single day from people just like you, 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 and you about moving to the Middle Tennessee area. So we're happy to answer your questions. Let us know what you're curious about. Uh, if you have questions about Cookville, be happy to jump on a Zoom or you know, shoot us a text, shoot us a call. Uh, let us know which questions you have. And don't forget, if this kind of information is interesting to you in any way, don't forget to subscribe and come follow along with us. Uh, my name is Clay. The team and I, we get contact all the time. So we're happy to help you. Until next time, hope to show you around town.